Hello y'all out there on YouTube. This is Rob from Rob's Nerdy Knives. I wanted to do a quick review and impressions video on the Max Ace Black Mirror. I like to do quick videos, uh, not as detailed maybe as others. So um, if you'd like to see that in the future, let me know. I'd be happy to do so. But this is kind of a, for those who wanted the edited version. Um, I am nerdy, so I do like the details, but uh, I also want to just kind of help you make a decision whether this is a knife you'd like to get. I bought this one directly from Max Ace. Uh, it took about, I'd say, two to three weeks to get in, which was fairly fast. This is the Max Ace with the blue anodized clip, and then the pivot spacer right here is blue anodized as well. This looks like it's like the, um, I guess it's um, the Black Dunes or Space Dunes um, um, carbon fiber. I'm not sure if this is fat carbon fiber, but it you know, looks similar to it. Beautiful, though. really reflects nicely in the sun. Uh, the steel on this is M390, so you can see that right here on the blade. Uh, M390, Black Mirror, Bowler M390, so I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, I would call this, you know, sort of like a, you know, a, a very functional drop point. I guess more sheep's foot, really. It's, I guess, sheep's foot here. But it's kind of a, you know, very food-friendly prep knife, very great for prepping and cutting things on a table, you just have a, you know, clear your hands, you can cut right away. I really do enjoy that. Um, this has a fuller hole, which is great for flipping open. So I can reverse flick it and you can also do the forward flick really nicely. And it works well in the left hand as well. I do like that and you can flick it really nicely over there as well. So that's great. Um, the clip does cover up this um, liner lock, so you're not gonna hit it too much doesn't seem to interfere too badly. So if you're lefty, maybe this is kind of something interesting if you don't mind the right hand only type of clip. This is titanium scales with a, you know, the carbon fiber insert here. Um, really nice. I think, you know, it had a ceramic, well, it has ceramic uh, caged ball bearings. I replaced these with the skiff um, washers and they're the cage ceramic skiff washers really really nice they just i believe skiff just made some brand new one i think it's the 16 ball washers man they are fantastic yeah let me see if i still have it over here uh let's see i'll pull it in uh, yeah here we are so these are the these are the washers that it came with right here i don't know if you can see that and i replaced them with the six millimeter uh 0.238 for the inner diameter and 0.466 inches for the outer diameter the thickness is 0 0.05 and the, the ball count is 16 and it's a 1 16th um, 1 16th of an inch size ball bearings so these are the original ones and the one I replaced is uh, got multi row and it's really nice and I will tell you that it's super smooth I love the way this closes it does have what appears to be a late detent but it's not really the you when you first clear you're, you're closing it, there's a little detent ball there, but you first hit it about right here. So that seems far down, but there is a ramp on the knife. So you're not going straight into the knife. There's actually a ramp that you're going up. So you can see, I don't know if you can see that, it kind of goes up smoothly as opposed to just straight over the edge. So that's really nice. And it's a small detent ball, but um, to me at first, I, I thought, do I like this or not? Well, it makes a lot of sense because the way it drops, I use, you can see it's cut out here a little bit and you can really access the liner lock very, very, very nicely. But the way I drop the knife is I'll drop it and my finger catches the jimping right here. That's part of the jimping when you're, if you're choking up or anything, but you can just drop it. I don't know if you can see that. My finger catches that. So it doesn't hit my nail or the knife or anything. And that's just past the detent usually when I'm doing that. So I'm doing this upside down. So let's do it like this. Yeah, and then you just drop it and it falls right down nicely. So I, I really do like that. I think I've come to appreciate that a lot more. Um, and with the Skiff uh, cage ceramic bearings, man, this thing's just beautiful. So I like that a lot. Um, what else? Some other things that you might be interested to know. It is rather deep carry, pocket clip. It's a mill titanium, has a nice, Easy ramp to get over. This part is cut out for the for the liner lock, but um, you're very smooth over here, so I don't think this really gets in the way much for me. I do enjoy that. It has a steel insert, so you're not doing titanium to the steel, so that's really nice. Um, what else do we've got going on here with this knife? Just some things that I really enjoy. Um, 
I would say, you know, you can see the little detent track right here. So that, you know, if that's not your cup of tea and you don't appreciate that or don't like it, maybe, maybe this is not for you, but I kind of like it because I can put a little bit of my uh, uh, nano oil, 85 weight in there and just loosen up the, the action if I ever need to. So for me, I, I see that maybe as a feature, maybe it's not, but you know, you get a lot for this knife for what you pay. You really, any other, any other manufacturer it'd probably be a $300 knife but this is like a 180 89 or 85 I forget dollar knife just really fantastic um, I think it's definitely worth it and I've noticed here on this one there's the pivot screw and that screw and both of those I believe are I think they're t8s uh, yeah they're both t8s I know all of them that I access and on the other side there's no screws you don't see anything that's because this screw right here is accessed from underneath so you can see that, I don't know if you can see it under here. Uh, let's see if we can see that. There's a screw right there. So that's really nice. Um, again, I love how this works. Now you can see now I'm hitting my nails. So you do that too much, you may scratch and cut your nails. So I prefer to catch it like that and then just let it drop. Um, I, I, I don't know, I, to me this has become a very enjoyable knife. I think it's definitely worth consideration for what you get if this is the style of knife you like. This is not my normal cup of tea, but I like the way it carries. I like the way it works. I really, really like the way I can use this knife. It sharpens up beautifully. This is has a pretty, um, not a, uh, I guess it's a, what you call it, not a deep angle or a long angle. It's a, probably I'm gonna guess the, the angle on this edge is gonna be somewhere 20, 25 degrees or something. It's certainly not a 20, 17, or 15 degree one where it's much longer edge, but I've been able to keep that pretty sharp even with that short edge. Uh, you know, the, the geometry will allow it to be tougher, certainly. I think when I do have to resharpen, I'm gonna definitely go with a 20 degree, get a little longer edge on here because I think that'll just allow it to be a better slicer. It comes pretty, uh, it's pretty thin. It's a flat grind. So it's pretty thin to the edge. I mean, it's not super, super thin, but it's flat all the way up, except for right here. It's got a nice sharpening choil. The jimping right here allows you to choke up really nicely. There's no jimping on top for your fingers. So, you know, if you're really wanting that jimping, you're not gonna get it there, but you definitely get it here. So your fingers don't slide forward. You're not cutting yourself or anything. And I don't know if this choil here is really for the finger. I guess you could sort of get a small finger up there, but I would be more prone to use that that uh, choil, the jimping here and choke up about like that, especially for deep cuts if I was gonna cut in like that. Otherwise, I get a full grip on this knife. I mean, I've got medium, medium large hands, I'd say medium large hands, I don't know. They're short stubby fingers, so that makes it the medium part, but my hands are fat, so probably a large hand. So width wise, definitely a large like this, maybe not length wise, but um, so, you know, those are some of my favorite things about this knife. I definitely think um, it's a knife worth considering, and I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. And definitely, if you do, get the Skiff Caged Ceramic Ball Bearings. Really, really worth it. I, I try to put those in a lot of my knives, and rarely am I ever disappointed with the performance enhancement I get from that. It's definitely worth it. Again, the Max Ace Black Mirror. I really, really am enjoying this knife. You should check it out. And... Uh, maybe pick up one for yourself. Thanks for watching today. And if you get a chance, would you mind maybe hitting the subscribe or like button? I sure would appreciate it. At least I know if there's any content here you find value. And feel free to leave a comment. Give me some ideas, uh, things you like to see or things you don't like to see. I'd appreciate that. And if you haven't, check me out uh, over on Instagram. I have an account over there with Rob underscore nerdy knife, nerdy underscore knives. So it's Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives over there. Um, thanks again. Have a great day.